Success is a journey, not a destination. Success is a journey, not a destination. Hello, welcome to Winning Ways. My name is Siri Isi. Today, we will be looking at how not to measure your success by what others have done or have not done. How not to measure your success by what others have done or have not done. The reason why many people are depressed with increase in suicide rates is because they tend to measure their life's worth or achievements with what other people have achieved. Do not measure your success with what others have done or accomplished in their own life. Doing so is detrimental and can lead to depression most especially if you cannot measure up to them. If it happens that they are ahead of you in material things, it will make you see yourself as a failure. We all came into this world for different purposes and to fulfill different destiny. No two persons have the same calling. Our assignments are different. So if our purpose on head are different from that of others, why then do we tend to measure our success with what others have achieved in their own life? That your classmate has gotten admission and you are yet to get yours does not make you a failure. That your age mate is already married with kids and you are still single does not make you a failure. That the person you graduated from the university with at the same time has started working in an oil company and you are yet to get a good job or even get a job does not make you a failure. What others have achieved or have not achieved does not in any way make you a failure or a success. We are all running a different race and on different lanes. Some are running sprints, some middle distance, some long distance, some relay and some auto. The way a manner each race is run is different. The rules are different. What makes one a winner in one type of race does not necessarily make another a winner in another type of race because the rules are different. You are caught to run your own race, which is quite different from that of any other person. Concentrate and focus on your race without unnecessary distraction from what others are doing. If you must be declared winner at the end of the race, you must find out what type of race you are called to run, what are the yardstick for success and what is required of you. This will help you to adequately prepare for the race and win. Your race is your purpose in life. It is what you are born to do. You must know your purpose in life and try to fulfill it. You can never experience true success in life until you discover your purpose and stay at the center of it. Prosperity will come to you when you are doing what you are called to do. Now, when you find your purpose and start working in it, you have no business measuring your success with what another person is doing in his own area of calling. That does not count. You measure your success in line with what God has called you to do. You are not competing with anybody. You are competing with yourself. You strive to be better than your yesterday. You develop your gift and continually refine it so that you can make more impact. Time and chance happens to everything in life. Like my friend we saw, it is not the first person to get to a police station that wins a case. There is time for everything. Your time to settle down will come if it is meant to be. Your time to buy cars and build houses will come. Your time to have children will come too. You just have to stay focused and refuse to be distracted. Do not envy anyone who seems to be getting ahead in life. Be genuinely happy for them, knowing fully well that your time will come. Work hard on your dreams. Find out what is required of you and do it. Stay committed to your assignments. And if you truly want to be successful on what God has called you to do, then work hard, study hard, and pray hard. 
Those are the three unbreakable laws of success in any field of human endeavor. Be happy, be successful, be you. Once again, my name is Cyril Isi. If you enjoyed this podcast and you feel it is valuable in helping you achieve your personal or professional goal, please share with your friends or anyone who might benefit from this information. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this podcast and leave a comment. You can follow me on my social media platform for more educative, entertaining and informative podcasts and videos. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn and of course on YouTube is as Cyril Easy. You can log on to www.cyrilecblog.wordpress.com for more. And you can also send an email to writecyrilecy at gmail.com. Thank you.